Hi Libra, this is your January 2021 general tarot forecast. So this is for January 2021 for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Also, if you're watching, this means that you've survived 2020, so congratulations. It's been a wild ride. What is in store for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for January 2021? Just for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. Mm. So we have two majors. We have a Pisces ruled hanged man and a Scorpio ruled death. These are actually really good omens um, for the end of a stalemate, um, a sacrifice, surrender, or release from something that it will stand to be transformative here. The transformation of a person or a personality through a sacrifice, um, surrender or release. It'll be interesting to see if it shows up in your video. Holy smokes, guys. Look, uh, in your reading, rather. Look at this. The sun, the nine of cups, and the ten of pentacles. You, this could be the end of um, singlehood. You could be partnering. That hanged man is really about a decision. Uh, <clears throat> Back, way back in the day, it used to be considered a traitor, so there could be a death to a traitor situation or the transformation. Perhaps you're, or you or someone around you is getting their head on straight about what it is they really want concerning their true happiness, a legacy issue with that Ten of Pentacles. Really nice cards so far, guys. Libra, Sun, and Rising Venus, January 2021. All right, guys, let's get out your Celtic cross. And as always, I will get oracle messages. Yeah, definitely an end to something that was very painful here. Um, yeah, as I was saying, we'll get some oracle messages to polish your reading off. I mean, here's another card of surrender. Here's another card of waiting. That hanged man could have been sacrificed, surrender, or release. So it's just, you know, the end of waiting for something or you want... Um, a waiting period to be over. You want to see your investments pay off. Time, energy, resources. Um, you could want to reconnect with someone here or a decision around reconnecting with someone special to you. We have Cancer and Virgo and Gemini. Or I should say Mercury. Um, well, no, Gemini rules the lovers. I guess the um, Mercury rules... The magician. So we definitely have Gemini, Virgo, Cancer, lots of Cancer energy here. We have some Leo energy back here. Wow, and Aquarius energy. Look at that. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups. Guys, if this is a love reading for you, love, romance, partnership of any kind here, this is an, an enormous omen, like a very, very beautiful omen for a very happy reconnection after a period of, you know, waiting or stalemate or Someone, you or someone else, making a decision to reconnect here. But something around a choice having to do with your heart, a big, big decision based in the heart, is going to lead to a reunion where you can finally move on. Uh, friendships, partnerships, business, whatever this is for you, right? It's a general reading, so use these messages as you see fit. But really gorgeous all the same. Look at that. Ace of Cups. This is um, a blessing. This is an offer of love, an offer of peace. This is purity. This is happy, stable relationships. We saw that Ten of Pentacles jump out, that Nine of Cups jump out. So January could be a really gorgeous partnership, celebration, reunion, love. <laughs> You know, and it, you know what you love, right? It doesn't have to be a person. This could be business. This could be travel. This could be inspiration, right? It could be spirituality. So whatever you're focusing on, it looks extremely positive for the month. Let me tell you. And we have this ending. This is where we want to see. We want to see this situation as the Ten of Swords. <laughs> we want to see an ending to something here. Um, something that was painful. And I'm going to suggest here, this is what's covering it or crossing it, is the Seven of Pentacles. So definitely an end to waiting, an end to what am I going to get from, you know, out of this. Or um, 
when am I going to see returns on how much I've invested here? So yeah, I see something coming through for you after probably a troublesome period. Maybe you just didn't think something was going to work out. You could have been even worried about it here as well, Libra. But definitely, you know, the Ten of Swords is overkill. So it was just, you know, waiting too much. Maybe you were waiting for someone else to say something, make the first move. Someone could have been in, com in comaticado, <laughs> not communicating. Um, or you weren't with them, or you just weren't communicating, you know, from the heart maybe. Could be dealing easily with a Virgo or Cancer individual or Earth or Water sign in general. Libra, and you could have you know, earth and say water in your own chart as well. And if that's the case and you know that to be true, this is definitely your energy that you're bringing into this. So at the foundation is the queen of cups here. This is cancer energy. So again, we see cancer twice here. Cancer rules the fourth house. This is the home. You could be moving home. You could be celebrating uh, a victorious move around a home. Um, I don't, well, we saw that 10 of pentacles. This could be purchasing a home or being, you know, gifted something here as well. Something could have been gifted to you, provided to you. We saw at the very beginning that hanged man with the death card here as well. So if this is, say, legal wills or estates matter for you, something could easily uh, be settled for you in the month of January. That's for darn sure here, guys. And if that's the case, congratulations, because I feel like it was just uh, daunting, <laughs> taking forever. Um, but yeah, here in the foundation, really nice psychic, you know, calm, sweet, gentle, compassionate energy here crowning you or coming towards you is, you know, this wisdom. This is the man on the mountain, right? Um, you know, this is your inner wisdom. And maybe you're becoming wiser about your sense of compassion, your psychic abilities, um, you know, your home front. And this could be in relation to a mother or child as well. Cancer is uh, maternal, technically a maternal sign. So there could be, you know, you're parenting yourself here in a very wise way. Your own mother or you as a mother are coming through in a very wise way. You've learned a lot here. Or you're learning a lot through the practice of mothering, the practice of um, caring for someone or compassion itself. But really gorgeous energy here, guys, for real. These are two really, not only compassionate signs, I'm talking about, you know, fourth house Cancer, sixth house Virgo. This is work, service, health, and habits, okay? And this is your emotional receptivity. So I think that you could be leveling up just in your own emotional world as well, just becoming wiser about how maybe to react to things. Um how to use your intuition, how to become more perceptive and receptive for good things coming your way. We do see this, you know, overtly uh, strong energy over here. And I think this could just be about you applying your gifts and talents to your surroundings um, because it does come after this really intense wands energy here. So I could, I really feel as well that you could just be coming into your own this month. You could just be feeling more confident with yourself, more, um, feeling more capable and, um, wise and assured knowing that even if you don't know the answer or know exactly what to do next, you're okay with that. And that's a pleasure, okay? That's a relief. And it's not like you'll never know, but there's this sense of just being able to say, you know what, I don't know, I'm gonna look into that, or I don't have the answer right now, but that's a good question, or um, let me get back to you. Um, you know, that sort of takes away from this uh, sense of all or nothing, like you have to know everything or else you just can't show up. <laughs> type thing. So yeah, in the recent past, we have this really big decision here. But usually when I see the lovers, we're looking at, you know, that six, we're looking at that balance, that decision made with the heart, right? And then your near future is the three of cups. So heart-based decisions will lead to a reunion, a connection based in the heart. This is, you know, old friendships, reconnection, 
literal reunions. Could actually be a party or a celebration here as well. Possibly with a, a Gemini individual or third house, right? Third house is your is your um, immediate family and short term travel, study, um, topical study. It's not in depth study. Here's where you here's where you would apply. Um, you know, practical study here with your Virgo energy, but you know, you could have learned a lot here and you're going to start applying it here. <clears throat> so these are really gorgeous energies, guys. Here in the position of how you see yourself is this Leo ruled King of Wands. So you are making moves. Also want to mention as well that the King of Wands sits opposite or mirroring in this column. It's um, opposite on the Zodiac Wheel. Aquarius ruled star energy. So, you know, Libra, if you're looking for the spotlight this month, you're going to be thrust into it. You're going to feel confident, cool, and collected in it. Someone's probably going to inspire you or you'll be inspiring someone else to take the spotlight or to just do something really magical and heartfelt. Guys, if this has to do with the arts or uh, creativity, Something, um, you know, the practical arts in some way here. We really only have one um, pentacle uh, card. I see a lot of this going on within your heart space and what you do. So you've completely leveled. You've gone from overthinking something to just, you know, looking at the practical side of it to finally enjoying it. <laughs> finally enjoying, you know, what it provides your heart, how you can influence other people's hearts, and what you do, right? So... How people see you is, is this creative, outgoing, expressive, possibly very sexy um, energy here. And I, I don't think you or someone in your environment, you could be dealing with a Leo, right? Libra, this doesn't have to be you. It could be an older man in your environment who has Leo qualities or fifth house qualities. This could be a family man, okay? Or you could be interested in family issues This um, by the four, third or fourth week. But he's extremely powerful. He's self-possessed. He is um, looked up to as a leader and he acts like one. This is an individual who's willing to put himself, he is willing to be somewhat humble here in order to lead properly. And I really see this as part of your Virgo based wisdom here. How to properly lead through, uh, lead others through leadership. Not force, okay? Not externalized force, but internal force okay in um, inspiration so I see you inspiring people around you here very naturally and that's how you want to be seen how others see you is someone with a lot of information a lot of heart a lot of soul this is making waves and moves this is again very creative energy here guys you have a lot of creative potential I would say if you're beginning a project or beginning a relationship let's say this is a relationship love or partnership waiting for you this is a gorgeous month to get to know somebody here again there's a lot of you know sexy exciting energy a lot of communication um, with regard to excitement there could be travel um, there could be moving, someone could be moving closer to you or vice versa, but there could just be travel in general um, over water if it's not through states or provinces here. But here in your hopes and fears is the Cancer World Chariot. So this is, you know, externalized force. This is having force and control over your surroundings. So here's where I'm going to suggest that you really have a sense of self here. You know who you are, what you have to offer. There's a great deal of confidence here. And here's where I see you finally feeling confident and capable in this position of exerting it okay naturally and fairly and you could do it in a motherly way you could do it in a very nurturing way and people around you or a person around you or you could be dealing with a cancer individual and they're making you feel very confident in being yourself and exerting a lot of you know um, pa passionate energy here y you know this is very exciting and it's very well received okay this person is going to appreciate how you conduct yourself in your environment so this is really nice here guys and then your advice card is the star absolutely gorgeous energy 11th house so we've gone from our immediate surroundings and peer group learning and studying all the way up to the 11th house which is your entire environment um, your whole community could benefit from something that you're taking part in or starring in here. Hope, healing, uh, resolution, um, 
faith, spiritual healing, spiritual growth, like <clears throat> you could be in a position to heal others at this time as well. But um, yeah, the spotlight could be a part of it as well. There could be volunteerism or entire groups, uh, you know, groups involving society in general. What do I want to look at here the most? I just want to get a qualifier card. I mean, this is pretty straightforward to me, honestly. I don't need a whole lot more information here. Um, tell me more about the stars, the advice. Why is the star... Wow! Wowzers, guys, look at that. Ace of Swords qualifying... <coughs> Excuse me, this star card. So now you have two aces, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. New workplace or home, totally, right? You know, you could be working from the home. This could be a transfer from your workplace into the home. If that's the case, you're definitely going to be celebrating. This is a very positive outlet for you. But yeah, clarity, another card of victory. Wow, something extremely victorious, especially by the end of the month for you here. This is the nicest reading I've done for any sign so far this year for January, Libra. So congratulations. This looks like a really gorgeous... Um, you know, in every facet of your life, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, even financially, like I said, if there was an investment here, if you're hearing back about an investment, something that you were waiting on, something that was just like, oh God, when will this end? <laughs> you know, that type of thing. <clears throat> you could definitely be seeing a resolution something with a great deal of clarity. If this is a love reading, however, this is, these are extremely positive omens. I would say that there is an extremely positive and exciting uh, type of opulence that's available for you here as well. All right, so we have your oracles for you. Let's get into it. So we have our fox and armadillo. We have camouflage and boundaries. I would just say, you know, <clears throat> Be yourself. Don't do whatever you have to do to fit in. Be wise about your emotional world. Be wise about what you share. Have strong boundaries about what it is you'll share now or what you'll share later. I think that you'll intuit what to share now or what to do with information you're given now. Like I said, a reunion situation with a cancer individual could be extremely likely here or Gemini individual. Um, but boundaries are very important, so just make sure that those are uh, positive and not, you know, just dragged out of the, the past. And then camouflage, you know, sometimes you have to um, act the part to get the part. So if you are applying for a job or for a position and you want to be seen as a leader, you just, just act that way and um, you'll appear that way. And then I find that you'll grow into those roles as well. So we have go the distance and then chop wood. Yeah, you want to get busy here. You want to get busy, get rid of what doesn't work for you any longer. That's it, right? Just get rid of what doesn't work for you. Sweep something away. Sweep away the bad energy. We have some nice, strong Virgo energy here as well with the Hermit. So I would just say, you know, just look at habits at this juncture. You know, and get rid of unnecessary habits, um, particularly ones that are emotional or reactionary. And then go the distance. You definitely stand to win something here, guys. You definitely are in the driver's seat. So you can really bring something to fruition um, in a very practical, real, and heartfelt way. A really stunning reading, I gotta say, guys. We do have deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. You know, when I see camouflage here, I just see someone who could be being pulled back into old habits. Just beware. What you're saying and doing is, you know, here and now, okay? And you're not overprotecting yourself. I do see deception as a card that could just be all on your own. This doesn't have to be someone in your environment being deceptive to you. This, you know, just, just be honest with yourself when I see deception here. Just be really honest um, with yourself, okay? Here. And then healing. Yeah, 100%. Clarity. There is a clear mental victory, and it will heal, and it will provide hope. And it is astounding. It is awakens um, intellectual or even emotional passion in you. This is exciting. Libra, if you have a second, please comment below and let me know what's going on for you because these messages are absolutely stunning. So I really am curious what's going on. And um, if this resonated with you guys, please like, share, and subscribe. 
Uh, watch your moon and rising signs for a nice overall picture for the month for you, and I'll see you in the next video for your sign. Bye for now, Libra.